Welcome back to Mitochondria Mafia, the only channel that'll judge your sleep schedule harder than your therapist, but still give you a gold star for effort. Let's talk about the one thing that holds society together, and also ruins it entirely. Sleep. And no, we're not talking about the vague 8 hours a night ideal the CDC screams at you from health brochures you've never read. We're diving into the gritty reality of how many hours you actually sleep and the shady perks hidden in each time slot. Because apparently, sleeping four hours a night makes you feel like a productivity god until your frontal lobe starts glitching like a Windows 95 computer. So whether you're running on espresso fumes or living like a medieval peasant who sleeps 10 hours a night, we've got the science, the sarcasm, and the truth bombs. This is Every Hidden Advantage of Your Sleeping Hours Explained. Let's get uncomfortable. 1 to 2 hours, the delusional speedrun. If you're sleeping 1 to 2 hours a night, you're either a Silicon Valley founder who thinks melatonin is for peasants, or you accidentally took one quick nap at 4 a.m. after binge-watching conspiracy documentaries on YouTube. Hidden advantage? Honestly, you're kind of superhuman in the same way that raccoons are superhuman, managing to function while their life choices reek of garbage fires. You get just enough sleep to trick your brain into thinking it survived the night. Cortisol is surging, adrenaline is in full send mode, and you feel oddly invincible. Your prefrontal cortex might be shutting down like a dying rhomba, but your fight or flight system is overcompensating so hard it deserves a bonus check. You're jittery but focused, emotional, but decisive. Is it a meltdown? Is it productivity? No one knows. But the science? After one or two hours, you're skipping every crucial sleep phase. REM, deep sleep, memory consolidation, hormonal regulation. According to sleep researchers, this range is like giving your brain a single french fry and calling in a meal. Over time, the risks rack up like unpaid parking tickets. Impaired glucose metabolism, weakened immune function, and cognitive decline. One meta-analysis even showed that chronic sleep deprivation in this range correlates with increased risk of all-cause mortality. You're not just burning the candle at both ends, you're microwaving the wax. Still, in that brief time, your brain might enter a sliver of light sleep enough to mislead you into thinking, I can do this, which is probably how half of Twitter was written. Two to four hours, the caffeine-fueled mirage. Welcome to the two to four hour club, AKA functional adult cosplay. You technically slept, so your brain logs it as a win, but biologically, you're still about two REM cycles away from not crying when the coffee machine breaks. Hidden advantage? Short term, your cortisol and norepinephrine levels are through the roof, which means laser focus, at least for the first couple of hours of the day. Your brain becomes a precision tool. Think scalpel, but also think possibly hallucinating. You might even feel wired but tired, which is fun until you mix in energy drinks and start vibrating into another dimension. Sleep researchers refer to this stage as sleep restriction, which is basically biohacker sleep for slow motion brain rot. The two to four hour range gives you some light sleep and maybe one cycle of REM if you're lucky, but zero deep sleep, which is where growth hormone, tissue repair, and memory consolidation happen. Studies? A 2017 study from the University of Pennsylvania found people getting four hours of sleep for just two nights experienced brain performance drops equivalent to legal intoxication. Except no one at the DMV is breathalyzing your frontal lobe before you try to work a forklift. Still, there's a twisted benefit here. Creativity sometimes spikes. That's right, sleep-deprived brains become weirdly good at divergent thinking. You might forget your passwords and start crying during serial commercials, but hey, you also just wrote a haiku about death in a Slack message. Trade-offs. And fun fact, historically, some elite military units train on partial sleep to test resilience. 
the idea. Push yourself to the edge just to see if you snap or build a podcast about discipline and cold plunges. Spoiler, most of us snap. Four to six hours. The I'm fine delusion. Ah, four to six hours. The respectable dysfunction of sleep. This is where people stop staging interventions and start saying things like, you're such a hard worker, or I function fine on five, while low-key aging at double speed. Hidden advantage? You get just yeah. enough rest to walk around pretending you're a fully formed adult. You might even hit some REM sleep, and if the universe feels generous, a shallow dip into deep sleep. The result? Cognitive function that hovers somewhere between a tired raccoon and a tax auditor. And yes, some productivity junkies swear by it. Politicians, tech bros, CEOs who microdose melatonin and call it a nighttime biohack. This is the realm of cold showers, standing desks, and pretending your eye bags are a vibe. But the science says otherwise. According to a Harvard Medical School study, chronic sleep in the 6-8 to eight hour range results in impaired attention, slower reaction time, and increased risk of obesity, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. You're basically a walking case study for what not to do if you enjoy brain cells. Still, you feel functional. You might even work out, drink green smoothies, and do Duolingo before 8 a.m., Never mind the fact that your hippocampus is crying and your hormones are playing musical chairs. Your body compensates through stress pathways, keeping you awake with a delicious cocktail of cortisol and self-denial. Ironically, this is also the stage most new parents, med students, and late-stage entrepreneurs live in. Sleep researchers refer to this as accumulated sleep debt, but we prefer the more technical term, slow-motion collapse. Six to eight hours, the Goldilocks zone, for humans, not hustle bros. Welcome to the six to eight hour club, where productivity meets sanity and your brain no longer feels like it's buffering at 240p. Hidden advantage? This is the sweet spot where your body actually has time to repair itself, your memory doesn't disintegrate like a Snapchat, and your emotional regulation isn't handled by a blindfolded raccoon on roller skates. You get a full cycle of REM and deep sleep, which means your brain finally has the time to do the equivalent of taking out the trash, vacuuming the trauma, and maybe, just maybe, filing those memories where they belong. According to the National Sleep Foundation, people who consistently sleep six to eight hours a night enjoy better cardiovascular health, improved glucose regulation, stronger immune function, and a reduced risk of all-cause mortality. Translation, you're not just surviving, you're giving your mitochondria a standing ovation. Mentally, you're sharper, more creative, less likely to cry in a Trader Joe's parking lot. Your prefrontal cortex gets the downtime it needs to function like a rational adult, instead of a medieval dungeon gremlin. But the real flex? You age slower. A study at UCLA found that inefficient sleep accelerates biological aging, while a full night's rest helps repair DNA and preserve telomere length. Boom! You're not just sleeping, you're anti-aging. The only downside? It's hard to brag about. You can't tell people, I slept seven hours last night, and expect applause. That's why hustle culture hates this range. It's too sane to be edgy and too healthy to sell supplements. But trust us, your brain heart, and hormonal system are all silently thanking you. 8 to 10 hours, the sleep spa for your soul. Ah, the 8 to 10 hour sleepers. Rare mythical creatures, often spotted in the wild only on Sundays, post-breakup, or when your body finally revolts after three weeks of pretending you're okay. The hidden advantage? This is recovery mode unlocked. We're talking maximum tissue repair elevated growth hormone release and cognitive superpowers that make you feel like you could solve a Rubik's Cube and your childhood trauma. Athletes, they love this range. A Stanford study on basketball players showed that increasing sleep to around 10 hours improved sprint time, accuracy, and reaction time. 
sleep more, shoot better. Scientifically proven. Emotionally, you're a monk, a Zen god, less cortisol, better mood, and get this, people who sleep this much show lower amygdala reactivity, meaning you're less likely to snap when Starbucks runs out of oat milk. And then there's memory consolidation. Your hippocampus is thriving. You remember names, faces, your passwords, and even where you parked. All because you slept like a log instead of doom scrolling until 2 a.m. But, plot twist, the world judges you. Sleep this long and suddenly you're lazy, unmotivated, or worse, a European. Society wasn't built for people who treat their REM cycles like royalty. You'll get passive-aggressive texts at noon that say, still sleeping? As if you committed a war crime. Also, there is a threshold. Studies show that chronic oversleeping beyond 9 to 10 hours without medical cause could be associated with higher risk of inflammation, depression, and metabolic dysfunction. So yeah, if you're snoozing this long every day and still tired, your mitochondria might be screaming into the void. But if it's occasional and intentional, you're not lazy, you're biologically optimized. In fact, you're probably healing from burnout that your six-hour-a-night friend hasn't even admitted they have. 10 to 12 hours, the coma cosplay. Welcome to the 10 to 12-hour club, where sleep is less of a necessity and more of a lifestyle. If you've ever blacked out for half a day, woke up disoriented, and had to check the calendar to figure out what year it is, congrats you've joined the elite ranks of deep hibernators. The hidden advantage? Let's be real. This is full body reboot mode. We're talking total systematic reset. Immune system? Fortified like a medieval castle. Neuroplasticity? Popping. Your brain has literally had time to declutter your mental desktop and defrag your emotional hard drive. Some studies suggest that longer sleep, when not caused by underlying conditions, might actually benefit young adults, adolescents, or people doing hard physical recovery, like elite athletes, shift workers, or someone who just binge-watched their own heartbreak. Your dream cycles? They're layered. You're deep into REM stage 17 by now, having full-on cinematic dreams scored by Hans Zimmer. Your body is soaking in the restorative effects of sleep like it's a hot spring in Iceland. But, and this is a big but, we gotta talk about the science. Research shows that too much sleep is linked to increased inflammation, impaired glucose metabolism, and higher risks of depression and cardiovascular issues, especially if it's habitual and unintentional. So, if you're sleeping 12 hours a night while waking up feeling like you were hit by a spiritual dump truck, it might not be your soul ascending. It could be something medical. Chronic oversleeping is often tied to underlying issues like sleep apnea, depression, or hyperthyroidism. But, if you're doing it occasionally, after travel, stress, or just surviving capitalism, you're not broken. You're just healing. And frankly, the world could use more people who are well-rested and emotionally stable. So, enjoy your hibernation. But if you find yourself making your bed just to crawl back into it, you might need more than sleep. You might need a life reset or at least a blood test.